Hello guys, so Jerry speaking. This is it folks. Um 2020 is coming to the close and I just figured this is gonna be the worst year of my life period. And I will tell you more I'll tell you my story about what happened the 2020 period. Okay? Plus two tributes, okay? One of them is Jim Blair, the other one's Alex Trebek, okay? And I'm telling you what happened in from January to December of 2020. So, let's get started, shall we? So we got. Anyway, this up this this up this past January was good for the past this past from January uh first to twenty second. We did a lot we did some good Elgin content there. And we did a lot of Elgin library stuff around here until until I decided that we did some arrangements with David saying that we're gonna do pressure walking here again. I'm like, sure. But then all of a sudden something tragic happened. That following afternoon, I was on Facebook trying to look at some random stuff that has nothing to do with anything. Until suddenly, Jim Lehrer of the PBS News Hour passed away at the age of uh, 85. And sorry to hear fireworks in the background. But yeah, it was tragic to make me see that. It was very shocking to me. It's very sad. I really miss an uh, inspiration of mine. That's why I got this uh, snow globe over here uh, this past Christmas, which is good. But overall, it was very helpful and make ways to make my inspiration live on forever. And then that afternoon, he decided that Luke put you on mute. I'm like, you kidding me, David? And that's why I posted some of my Facebook posts saying that I was very sad and decided that he ruined my afternoon, you know? And I'm very emotional for that point. And Remix cheered me up, and I thank him for that. For I just, uh, Remix for you. But then, uh, I took a three-day breather when all of a sudden, your, most of it, most of it is Jerome and Gary's fault. I have no idea what's going on, but I don't know what to expect. I I did apologize to them when all of a sudden, um, March 2020, I just feel like horrible as hell right now because of difficulties with this whole thing, and that I don't talk I I don't I do want to say it, but it was hugely disruptively huge, and I do want to say it was bad, okay. He harsh. He took harsh for episode three hundred sixty seven. That was pretty at, and I took my word for it. And I said to Jerome, "I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, just be friends with Rodney, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Period." And after that was over, I banned the episode because of my difficulties. Period. And then episode, uh, then episode, then on, um, then I did, um, uh, then most of February came and LGBT month was dedicated to Jim, which is my own feelings. But then, um, part of March came and I react to, uh, Jason's content, which he was a very good person. And by the way, my message, Jack, if you watch it, Mac, if you watch this now, you are a supportive boy fan. And for support of the LGB family member. You gotta love me for the support. And until that that same month, COVID hit us really badly. Oh, sorry, my butt's been in the way. But anyway. Anyway, um when Julie Wardrobe said um um in a statement staying uh in all the difficulties and he she he she ended off with saying and that's news hour for tonight. I'm Julie Woodruff. Please stay safe this weekend. Thank you and good night. And after that was over, I was freaked out saying, we're going to do, we're going to do, what the hell we're going to do. And then um, I just figured the, that COVID is going to hit us real hard in Georgia. And then especially in the world was hitting COVID, you know. 
but that has changed. And um, but then June came, I came back to work, and where we have to be cheering up a little bit. I was brave during COVID that fall in April. I love, I do not like it one bit. Period. I was too, ha I was very harsh to COVID. I, I was scared at this point. I just really wanted to travel really badly, but then COVID hit us real hard, like I said before. And I talked about, I watched the news hour and said, I don't know what to say, but, but then, but then May came down my 25th birthday. I have this great birthday present. I don't know if that, if the greatest birthday present, it was a huge shopping for deep spree and I don't know what it is yet, but that's just me. And that room, and that, and that, I, I decided to put 25th birthday mo celebration movie on hiatus because of difficulty, uh, c cancellation because of difficulties with, uh, with, uh, COVID, you know. And, uh, besides not, um, July came, and I feel like this is going to be a brand new hope for me. And I feel like parts of July, parts of August... I decided to bring me. I decided to think about bring bring me back to Bob Show again, but then part and that's how I donated to Purple Roads Podcast on Patreon for five dollars per month. And the following week before Bob Show emailed uh, my mom and she said to me, he, he, Bob said to my mom and said, "Would you like to donate for two dollars?" Or you tried to donate for five dollars, and I said five dollars would be enough, and I will do that and tribute to Jim. So, and he said, she said, focus on Bob for a moment, more. and I thank Bob for this if you watch this now. So, yeah, now maybe branch out with Jerome and Gary and all that good activities for a while to focus on Bob and Raven for a huge bit. After that, I feel like Bob is. My inspiration for me. He, I bring back. He brought me back to be me, me inspiration, especially Raven. So yeah, and that for that, I feel like twenty. And then uh, once October hits, I was watching most of the, but some of the Bob Show Ween reviews, and I wasn't credited on two out of the four Bob Show Ween reviews, because back then, twenty seventeen, if you remember. He removed me, but now 2020. I I was back since September of 2020, and things have changed since but since then. He told me, and I said, and I quoted that, "Glad to be back." And I told that's why I told Daniel this, and I, and he, and then September 2020, I was watching one of the Red Timber videos, which is good. It was called it was an Oz rip off movie and I love it. Uh the rip off the rip the the Oz riff thing. So it was amazing. So the other three, two of them were just on YouTube. The other one we got third part. I hadn't watched it yet. So yeah. Not for that I well I got a chance to uh do more of that content so October is when I do other things. Then, then I went to travel to uh, Florida. Uh, not only in June, but also in October. Because I was too busy with other things random. Because of uh, travel to free cities during COVID. In Florida. I went to uh, say, uh, I went to the, uh, do, do four parts of various Kids Regard 2. Our biggest vacation adventure during that time. During that time, I have a huge amount of Elgin Riyadh's episodes. And it was the biggest 500 episode of Elgin Riyadh's. And it was the biggest amount of time when it comes with huge amounts. I said that I was supposed to do Jeff Craig early, but then all of a sudden, 2017 came and Jeff Craig became downhill. But I'll bring it back in either 2021 or 2022. It depends. We'll see. But, however, I did manage to bring back one project, Recess Jokes, because um, one, I thought I was going to do Recess Jokes next year, but then, either, well, Season 8 of BNF Vlogs became down of one thing, because COVID. And the other thing is that I wanted to do focus on other projects as well, 
the news are removed, for example, that's never the case. That's why Brainbacks took a downhill side of things because of COVID. But let's talk about other things, shall we? Um, November came and well, parts of October came before I get to November, but November came, October came is when I celebrate Halloween and look, I, I've made a Halloween special on my Vimeo account. I brought back some of my videos on Vimeo, followed by a, um, some stuff in November for Vimeo along with December. And I told us to have a breakdown for Vimeo. In between months and months and months, you know, because I didn't know what to expect to bring it back, you know, that's just me. And I deleted some of the YouTube content throughout the YouTube lot of guidelines from Vimeo off of YouTube, off of Vimeo, period. That would be more easier for me to get back in touch with YouTube and and view Vimeo so that way we can be more focused on other things for LGBT. Uh, that way, more easier. I can still do Lucha Looks Away, but then again, it was not very exciting for me, sadly. And yeah, um, when December hit, well, November hit, excuse me, I decided to um, focus on this year's Thanksgiving special. And then all, all of a sudden, nothing happened. I just wanted to edit a lot of projects lately. However, I did a lot of game shows lately, and... With in Appadition 94 if you watch this Marshall. And he did want me to focus on dub tapes, you know. Appadition 94 channel, which is amazing. He wanted me to bring back PBS Kids Blast in the past. One thing. Another thing is um some game show themes, which is amazing. But of course he it bring back a lot of views and I'm happy to be part of it. The Appadition 94 family. And Marshall's the original owner of this. So yeah, I just thought I'd let David 3000 know about this. So yeah. And uh, December is when LHBM wanted to focus on other scripts in development. I wanted to focus on the news hour movie, which is another thing. It's a script, it's a movie I'm working on in development for 2023 release. I'm looking forward to the movie. I'm starting to start filming in 2021 of June. So be on the lookout for that. So I'm not saying it, it be, it's Columbia and Twa Star, but that's not the case. Sony and Columbia and LHBM slash so Quilp and new PBS NewsHour is going to bring the rights to the movie. Let's see what happens. Right now it's just my own choice, you know, for them to decide. My companies, my rules, especially Sony's Columbia's and... PBS News Art Productions, LLC. Another project I want to focus on in 2021 is A Trip to Alex Paris. I was originally going to do it in 2019, but all of a sudden when COVID hit, I was like, oh my God, we're going to do. But then, parts of 2021, late 2021, like parts of 2021, like fall, I'm very excited to tell you that we're going to announce that, that 2021 is the year we're going to do A Trip to Alex Paris. So be on the lookout for that. And we're going to start filming it next year. Along with the news hour movie. So be on the lookout for that. And of course it'll be huge. Big time. And yeah I'm really looking forward to that. Oh and by the way. November is also the month where we lost a, le a game show legend. Alex Trebek. Who passed away uh, recently in November at the age of... Uh, a, so, yeah. I just thought it would be a good idea to bring um, that up to my attention. So, yeah. Just thought I would know about that. So, it's a, it depends on how long it will take me to make uh, two tributes and one instead of a one, one tribute. And that way more easier than that. So, yeah. And still, I got a lot, I've been doing a lot of projects lately. Especially the Elgin 2020 prize, some project side of things. But... In case it's a different story. But of course I did um, some other things random because I did um, behind the scenes look at those in 2020. But of course I did um, did uh, some other projects I did with David Thousand side of things and the 25 which is coming up in 2021. So be look out for that. And of course um, 
another podcast show. I'm not gonna say what it is. It's uh, it's up to um, it's up to a game. It's up to Archer Glory for fifteen. So be a little out for that. It's coming twenty twenty one. Not saying what it is yet. Not saying the title, but be a little out for that. And also, um, there's one more thing I might mention. It, I was a guest on Heyman Charlie's Outman Hey Out um, Outcast shows. I'm not sure. I have two of them shows. There's over. There's two special events in between. So, so thank you, Heyman and Charlie, if you're watching this. I want to thank you for giving me the outcome for bringing me the, to come back here. So, bringing these four live streams. I did fall asleep after I get back from the the one live stream, which is Heyman Outcast episode uh, on Char Charlie's birthday. Which is good thing because I need some sleep at two in the morning because I need to go to sleep in time for me to make projects and, and the next day because it's difficult for me to do it. So there you go. Sorry, I got a message from someone, but anyway. And of course, I did a lot of projects late recently, so that's why I'm here for it. And of course, it was a big thing. So there you go. I just. Want to give you up the attention, so yeah. And one last thing before I sign off for the rest of 2020 is that I like to thank Alex Paris for and David for bringing me um, some ideas on what's gonna happen to the. Oh, and by the way, I don't need the one more thing because I want to say some more attention between these three um, and the David Three Thousands uh, Fun ha ha Happiness Podcast. Let's see some more things. I did two. Appearances, one's a cameo and the other one's a appearance during Brad Martin's channel. It was on Brain and Ray Podcast episode 18, and the other one on Brain and Ray Podcast episode number 52 of the Brain Anniversary. So it was one of the best moments I did a cameo on. And also it was Bonzi's turn who said, um, it was the very funniest moment I've ever seen. And he's like, God damn it. I'm sorry, I don't want to, he's like, hot, dang it, but I'm going to cuss in a while, but that's just me. I'm going to translate that, but that's just me. But, you get the idea, but, you know, that's just me. But, let's just see what happens. I'm sorry, folks, but, but, and then another thing I wanted to mention is, in 2020, uh, um, I got another cameo from somebody, uh, I can't remember, but I think it would have been somebody who brought you the, uh, the, I'll uh, buy in 2020, but let's see what happens. It, if you had to check out the appearance and talks, check it out, but in 2020, there's a lot of, that devil, it was a devilish year in my life period. Let me just say that right now. It was the worst year of my life, period. I hated this year. I just want this year to go hell, period. But let's just see what happens next, okay? Let's see what I got. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the Billy Mooey, if you watch this now, thank you for giving me the uh, information on the thing. You're the best person i ever seen. You were on, you got me on the 2020 4th of July Spectacular. Live a video. It was two hours long, and I appreciate your help on giving me the opportunity for bringing me here. Thank you very much. But I'm also giving you the opportunity for thanking you for giving me to be, be part of it. And I give you credit for that. And, and speaking of which, I my playlist thing is I have 100 things, and I have to update that once it gets done with the new year. And, uh, thank you, um, who else am I thank? Um. Oh no no no! Hang on, this is uh, past decades ago. Um. Oh, uh, Jordan Lil, uh, aka now was G Man's uh, legit. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to bring um, appearances on with uh when whatever weekly whammy Wednesdays. What now? I can't pronounce it. Sorry. It was a game show hosted by uh, Jordan, and he would did, he did uh, a great job. So, doing that game show, 
I think he's going to do this again. I don't know. It depends, but that's just me. Let's see, um, another thing I want to mention is, um, um, well, besides Arctic Lord, I, he did react to my, uh, Elgin React by her episode. I want to thank him for that. Um, let's see what else, uh, oh, um, Mario Master Munkin, if you watch this now, thank you for giving me appearances on the Easter Day live stream this year. And of and of course, I'd like to thank the DC Comics Fan 2004 for bringing me the opportunity to inspire my Friday show to give out the opportunity to, to give it the live stream's name called DC Comics Fan 2004 Live. And I don't know what to expect to bring that up in the mix. Because... My Friday show is basically a Friday series. It's, it's basically a web series. It was going to turn out to be a TV series back then. But it was originally going to be a web It turned out to be a web series but somehow. Back in 2014. So I wanted to come up with the idea of that name. Friday, it was basically, well, basically what it is, folks. Friday's Blue James 25 is basically based on what Friday's with Peter Bible. With Walk with Difference. So... Now that you think of it, David, DC Comics Men's Basketball Live is inspired by my show. And I'd like to thank um, Josh for bringing that up. And um, also, I'd like to thank um, some more people I did not want to name. So, uh, let's see here. That's it. I think that's about it. Happy New Year, everybody. I like to go um celebrate New Year's um uh, celebration and say te nine eight seven six uh, ball drop thing video. I'm gonna do like a ball drop video on behind the scenes content. This will be my last one. These ball drop for 2020. I'll be done for that. So so right after this is over, I'll be done with um 2020 for a while and say go to hell for all I care. And then after that, I'll do two more days of Elgin 2020, and we're done with Elgin 2020. And David, if you're wondering, there will not be an Elgin 2021 for all of you don't for all of you wondering, because of two reasons. One, uh, I may stay focused on my 2021 making films per se. And two, I I have to say thank you for giving me. 369 days worth of behind the scenes of the worst year of all time. Let me just say to you right now, okay? I had the worst experience in this film, seen here. You have, we have our ups and downs regarding the 2020. So, yeah. And then the best part is, we did. We finally made it to 2021. So we just blowing up here. We haven't made the export free episodes of Ultra Reacts yet. So, I'm going to edit this part of it say copyright 2021 because I, I filmed it in 2020, sadly, because I finished three episodes in the last day of New Year's Eve. And after the, once this is over, I'm going to go ahead and edit some videos and throughout 2021. And that way, more easier for you audiences. And that way, it'd be. More superior, so I mean, it's gonna be more good and easier. So yeah, why keep saying superior? <laughs> that should be a new word. <laughs> but you know, that's just me. But anyways, guys, that wraps up this video. Hope you enjoy it. Now, I'm gonna excuse me. I'm gonna drink this water out of this, and after that, I'm gonna be go ahead and celebrate New Year's with my new mug, the News Hour mug, which is dedicated to Jim. Until next time, so Jerry's gonna buy peace off, baby. We got more uh, videos coming your way in 2021. Plus, an LGBM documentary to celebrate LGBM's 14th year on Vimeo. I'm not gonna say what it is yet. It's gonna be a huge and exciting documentary, so be on the lookout for that. Until then, Jefferson out. See ya.